lunch break lesson part two. If you missed part one, we are talking about pushing updates to a student copy of a slideshow and what happens if they edit, when you edit, and all that kind of stuff. So we've got our primary copy of a digital notebook. We've got the student copy where all the slides from that original have been copied and pasted and they have all been linked, which means that anyone that gets this copy gets the version with the links in it. So the student copy is the one that you would post, say, in Google Classroom, make a copy for each student. So I showed you that a student could add notes, but if you go back and add new material to that slide on your primary copy and you get that little update button, it updates to what's on your copy, which means that all of their stuff would go away. So my suggestion is that in your student copy, you add in specific slides that are not in your primary copy that are the slides that they can add to. So you've got your link slides that you would push updates to. If you get my template, you've got all these layouts. Add one in, you'll notice there's no link, or you could duplicate and unlink it. And add your prompter activity on this slide. 